otters saw that, whichever ones were left, they were able to survive the flood because the flood only wipes out that which has breath in its lungs. And so the watchers don't fall into it. So I think the watchers that, that actually came into the daughters of men were locked in gloomy dungeons, but it doesn't say that all the fallen angels actually committed that act. And so there could be another batch of angels not falling from heaven, already fallen, but now committing this act again, who have not been locked uh, in gloomy dungeons, taking the daughters of men, procreating with them, and now doing it with, you know, who's going to be susceptible to that? Well, not Cain's daughters. They've been wiped out, but Canaan's daughters post-flood. And there, there's where you get a Nimrod type figure as a first generation half-fallen angel or an Arba figure, and then coming down off of their lines, at least in the case of Arba, that's where you get the Anakim, and then way down, all the way to David, that's where you get 10-foot giants like yeah. Goliath, who is a son yeah. of the Anakim, son of Gath, down from Anakim. Uh, but but what would what would Arba's son Anak have looked like if, if right. Goliath, multiple generations down, yeah. is nine foot nine? Right. What what going working back up now from not the days of David, but up back to like the days of Abraham yeah. or, or Moses or Joshua? Um, the, these when the Bible says they look like cedar, they were like cedar trees. Right. Maybe maybe it's not an exaggeration. <laughs>